It's Wednesday and I'm starting off the day with some breakfast. I'm currently done with all lectures at university, but I still have two exams and one assignment to go. So I'll be working a bit on that assignment later on today. I just finished up breakfast and I'm now gonna start working on my game of the sticks. First off, I made it so you always spawn with a default sword if you didn't carry any weapons with you from the previous stage. This is just to make sure you always have some sort of weapon to work with. After that, I worked on some forced dialogue because so far we only have interaction dialogue so you had to press a button, but now I made it so that you actually get forced into a dialogue. Since you're getting closer to the castle, there is going to be a guard telling you to don't come any closer or he will have to use force. I fixed up the guard a bit and he will now whip out a weapon if you get too close to him. I'm pretty happy with how the dialogue system turned out. I can now use this to make a lot of different things, which is cool. Yeah, let's get some lunch. I just finished up lunch and I'm now gonna work a bit on a side project. It's an Android app that I'm developing for personal use with Android Studio and Java. I won't say what the project is about yet, but there will definitely be a video about it when it's done and if it actually works out. I've been working on the app for a bit now, so I'm gonna get back to developing off the sticks. I got a suggestion to work on the exclamation mark above the NPC's head when they want to speak to you because it's kind of hard to see. So I'm going to make it pop up whenever you get close to an NPC that wants to speak to you so you can kind of tell that they want to speak to you and it's a bit more visible. I made a quick little prototype and it looks a bit like this. Now I just have to make it animated. And here is the result of the pop-up. Whenever you get close to an NPC that wants to talk, the pop-up will appear, and if you move away, it will disappear. If you already spoke to the NPC, the pop-up will not appear anymore. I also had another cool suggestion, which was to place the castle in the background on the first stage, since you're gonna reach it in the second stage. It's just a fun little suggestion, and here's a very quick prototype that I made, but now we need to actually draw a castle so we can put it in the background. And here's what that looks like. I'm now gonna go eat some dinner and then probably work on my final assignment later on. I just finished up dinner and I'm now gonna work on my final assignment for this semester. It's for a class about how programming languages are built up and work, and for this particular task we are given an interpreter for a basic imperative language, and we have to extend it with return statements and try catch blocks. So, let's get to work! So me and my classmate have been working on it for some time now and we finally got everything working. So we're pretty much done with the assignment, but there are still some bonus tasks that we might end up doing if we find time for it. But I'm now gonna take a little walk to the store and deliver a package. But that's going to be everything I had time for today, I'm now gonna go respond to some comments and emails and then go hit the sack. I hope you enjoyed this video.